Hello again, everyone. Time for another episode of The Burger Bunch. I'm Ori Hoffer from Park City Television, and this is a collaboration between PCTV and Salt Lake Magazine as we search for the best burger in the Wasatch. Today we are here at the Porcupine Bar and Grill just at the mouth of Big Cottonwood Canyon. Does it measure up? Let's go find out. Right here at the base of the canyon after a hike or a bike ride or a ski day, they've got this thing figured out. Everything looks great. Now there's this, what is this? I have the Best green in here? Uh, aioli thing. That's the aioli. It was really well balanced. This that's is a, that's a good looking, secret weapon. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a serious oh, piece yeah, of bacon. Smells good. So I was really just impressed with the balance of all the things they had going on. This is this would be a perfect burger to get with a beer. Yeah. It's a pub burger. Yeah. 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 And the I don't, grain was really nice. It actually added some flavor. Yeah. So much stuff going on, and they right. actually put it together in a rather skilled way where it wasn't too soggy from sitting around. Right. Or the cheese was still like hot and gooey when I got the burger right. on my plate. It know? wasn't just that it, big it was, cheese. Yeah, it yeah. Had, yeah. It, 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 it was cheese held it on. The cheese held it on. It was, yeah. it was like it was a sealed, sealed by like cheese. Seal, it it was was sealed. <laughs> I ended up giving this probably the best score I've given any of the four or five places we've been to so far. And it's weird because at face value, when I look at what the burger had on it and the whole entirety of all these condiments that Ori just mentioned. It, it scared me a little bit. I was thinking I was going to be more disappointed in the burger, and I'm the one that picked the porcupine because I remembered I really liked this burger a few years ago when I had it. Um, when you put it all together, though, it was remarkably balanced in the condiments, the beef, the bun, all of that worked really well. So I ended up giving it a 93 total, which is a pretty good score. All right, I think this is um, a really great example of a good restaurant or a pub burger. Every restaurant, every diner has a burger on their menu, and most of them don't really try that hard, and you can tell this place was really trying hard. It's also a great engineering feat, but these guys really thought out the proportions. There wasn't like too much barbecue sauce, too much aioli. They really thought that out, and it really combined into a, like a huge pile of flavor. I agree the fries were just sort of standard issue Cisco fries. You don't really need them. Maybe get a salad instead. So, Well, that really was a burger. It had bacon. It had sautéed mushrooms, sautéed onions. Uh, the one thing I, I really marked down for, you know, the beefiness and the, the sort of greasiness. I, I didn't get a whole lot of burgeriness, uh, I guess, from, uh, from, from the beef. I gave it an 83, which I think uh, puts it uh, right up there in the top tier of the burgers that we've had. I love this burger. I ate a lot of it, and I hardly ever finish a burger. But, but to me, the beef factor was the big demerit. I thought the beef was dry. Uh, the greasiness factor because there really was no juice in the burger. So I had a problem with that. Love the bun, very, very toasted bun. I really liked this burger a lot. I just can't give it too high a score because of the beef quality. They had sauteed mushrooms and the flavor was brought out so well by the like aioli dill sauce they had on the bottom layer of it. Every time I would I would get a, a, a taste of the that in my mouth, this burger was just shooting up into like the, the awesome category. So it was like, it was all these little, shoo, shoo, awesome, awesome, awesome. But then it was like, oh, total of 71. So if you're coming out for a hike, a mountain bike ride, or at the end of a big day of skiing, come on down here and taste their big cottonwood burger. It earned us an 80.6. So uh, a solid score, definitely putting it in the top tier of burgers that we have tried. 